So in this Starfield video, I'll be showing y'all 25 secrets you probably missed. I'll be showing y'all how to unlock a bunch of secret landmark locations, specifically on Earth, but there is one on Mars, as well as one on the moon I'll be showing you. And I'll be showing you how to get these hidden snow globes around too. Which if you collect all of these that I'll show in this video, you'll unlock a secret unique spacesuit. But yeah, first off, before I get into all of this, I want to show you what happens when you do collect all these snow globes. As you can see, this will pop up and it says, tour of old earth you have seen sites on earth the moon and mars that no one has seen collectively for over a hundred years it has inspired you to make a spacesuit to commemorate your extensive exploration so yeah for collecting all these and seeing all these hidden landmarks you unlock this unique old earth spacesuit and here's what it looks like in the stats compared to my mantis spacesuit overall it is better than the mantis spacesuit as most of you may know about that one and it looks pretty cool too. This is definitely a great spacesuit to get your hands on. And personally, I just wanted to see all the Earth landmarks too. So while you are collecting these snow globes, you'll be getting to see a lot of the real unique landmarks Bethesda added in to Starfield. So yeah, now let's go ahead and get into where all these secret snow globes and landmarks are located at to get this unique spacesuit. I'll be showing off all of these unique landmarks in this one video. Hope you all find this enjoyable. All right, so these first two snow globes will be located at the NASA launch tower. We're going to have to head inside the facility here, which in case you don't know where this is, it's located at Sol System and on planet Earth. Now, in order to get into the NASA launch facility, we're going to have to traverse to the top, well, pretty much the top of the launch tower. Up here, we're going to find an elevator that needs some power, which we can power it up within this room here by putting this power cell here into this, and this will give the elevator power to go inside the facility. Now I will say to get into one of these rooms it seems like you have to be on the unearthed mission. If you know another way to get inside this area right here without doing the unearthed mission feel free to jot it down below in the comments but when I came back here after I've already completed the unearthed mission this area was blocked off. So yeah just giving you all a heads up you might have to do this during a fresh playthrough. So yeah, inside here, we're going to need to interact with something that's right next to the Mars rover. This will unlock a secret area that we can go to on Mars to get one of the snow globes that we will need to get. We're gonna have to collect all of these for something secretive to happen. But yeah, after you do that, now let's collect the two that's inside this facility. The first one will be located a little past where we just interacted with the Mars rover. It'll be located right up here. So yeah, go ahead and collect this one. And the next one will be a little further inside the facility. If you're doing the unearthed quest, which is the last quest in the game, you'll eventually come to this room, but if you're not, it's just a little further ahead after collecting the first snow globe. It's not too deep inside here, but yeah. But yeah, you'll find a locked door in this room. That's how you know you're in the right area. And you can find the second snow globe in here on this desk. So yeah, that's everything we need to do here. Now let's go ahead and go to the Mars rover area. Since we just interacted with that computer that was next to the Mars rover, we can now go to this secret landmark that we unlocked. Which we can find Mars, of course, in the solar system as well. But yeah, as you can see, here's the landmark we unlocked, so let's head here. And this is where we'll discover the third snow globe. Alright, so this next snow globe is also going to be a trickier one to find. I'm just showing you all where the trickiest ones are located at first, just so we can get those out of the way. But this next one, you're going to have to find during the Crimson Fleet quest, called Breaking the Bank, which you begin this one just after completing three of the Crimson Fleet quest. And in case you don't know how to start the Crimson Fleet quest line, you just have to commit a crime at New Atlantis, and then when you get sent to jail, that's where you'll begin it at. That's one way to start the Crimson Fleet quest line. But once you get to Breaking the Bank quest, eventually you'll come to this part where you'll have to confront a guy named Larry on a ship called Siren of the Stars. It's a very luxurious ship, so you'll know when you're here during this quest line. But yeah, you can find Larry within his suite, which his suite number is 5 in here. And within his room here, you can discover the next, you can discover this book on this desk. Once you read this book, it'll unlock a secret Earth location that you can go to to collect the next snow globe. So go ahead and do that. As long as you just pick up the book, you automatically read it and unlock this secret Earth landmark, which the one you unlock is Dubai. So yeah, go ahead and now make your way off this ship and fast travel to the Dubai landmark on Earth. Make sure you also track the activity within your missions, just so you know exactly where the snow globe is located at over at the landmark. As you can see here, it'll say visit the Dubai landmark on Earth. But yeah, here is what the landmark looks like. 
it's massive. And you can find the snow globe on a rock right by it. As long as you're tracking the Dubai landmark, it'll lead you right to where the snow globe is located at when you come over here. Same with all the other secret landmarks as well. Next two will be located over in the Cheyenne system at Aquila. So just head over to Aquila and then head to Aquila City. Once you enter town here, to find the bookstore, you just have to head straight for a little bit and take a left up these flight of stairs and head this way. And the bookstore will be right back here. It's called St. Clair's Books. So yeah, the two books that you'll need to purchase from this store when you talk to St. Clair are The Ancient Civilization of Egypt and Oliver Twist. This will give you two new landmarks that you can go to on Earth. So just go to your missions and then go to your activities and yeah. Go ahead and visit these two new locations. Let's go ahead and visit the Cairo landmark. This will take us to the Pyramid of Giza. Check this out, guys. Pretty crazy. But yeah, you can find a snow globe right here on the destroyed pyramid. Now let's head to the other one we have unlocked, and that is London. Press X on it to get me to go over there quickly. And over here, you can see the London Monument on earth freaking awesome and of course we'll have an indicator above it as well so you'll know exactly where to go bada bing bada boom next we're going to be heading to alpha centauri and going to new atlantis on jemison we actually want to go to the mass district over at new atlantis so just fast travel there once here head into the mass building and go into the elevator and head to this location right here the central command area once here, you then just want to head right when you first enter and go into this room here. This is the president's room. We're going to be having to steal this book off the desk. So a little trick that you can do, for some reason, they don't care if you shoot within the room. So if you shoot the book off the desk, it's easier to steal. I do recommend to do a little quick save before doing this because you never know if you're going to fail stealing. <laughs> go ahead and get out the shotgun and I'm just going to shoot the book. Yeah, now it's way over here. I'm going to crouch and steal it. So now, once you read this book, this will unlock another new location on Earth. So once again, go to your activities and visit the New York. And we're able to now visit the New York landmark on Earth. So just press X on it to save some time fast traveling over there. So yeah, now we get to see the Empire State Building on Earth. And of course, like usual, the snow globe will have an indicator above it so yeah just go ahead and pick this up all right so to unlock this next secret earth location and get the next snow globe you want to head on over to the velo system but you can find that at the narion system here just once you hover over it go down to velo once here you just want to fast travel to hope town on palvo once here you just want to head inside hope tech and we're going to be going around to the back of this building. Once inside here, just head this way and go through this door over here. This will lead to this area. And once you're here, you just want to head up this flight of stairs and head up this flight of stairs over here. This will lead to a specific room you need to go into to get one of the books that will unlock the next Earth landmark. Keep in mind you are going to have to steal this one as well so once again be sure to save it just in case. Honestly it's not a big deal if you get caught personally to me because you just end up owing some credits and as long as you pick up the book you'll still have the landmark unlocked even after you have to return it which the book is located right here at the far right side of the desk but anyways yeah so once you've gotten that book, you just want to go down once again to activities within your missions. And you should have this one, visit the Los Angeles landmark on Earth now. So let's go ahead and go to the Los Angeles landmark. So yeah, here's what the place looks like. And once again, the snow globe will have an indicator as long as you tracked it on the activity quest. All right, so next up here, we're going to be heading to Neon City, which we could find Neon City over at the Volley system. And then when here, go to Volley Alpha. And this is where you can find Neon City. I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel in town. Alright, so when here, you just want to head to the Astral Lounge, which is located to the right from where you enter. And yeah, it'll be located up these stairs inside here. When you get inside the lounge, we want to head to a VIP room. We're going to be looking for a specific guy that's going to have this book. So, let's use this elevator and go up to the VIP balcony. 
And when you get up here, just go left, and in one of these rooms you're going to find a very important fella. You'll find him right back here, in this room. His name will be Benjamin Bayou, and we're going to have to steal, and we're going to have to steal a book off of him. So be sure to save it before you go and attempt this, which in order to steal from people, you're going to have to have at least one skill point into theft. This will grant you the ability to pickpocket targets. So yeah, let's go ahead and pickpocket from him. We're going to be wanting to take the penthouse key. All right. We got that without getting detected. Nice. So now we just want to exit out of the lounge. So go back down the elevator and exit out of this place. All right, so when you're back out here, you just want to head to the left and go inside this elevator over here. And we're going to be heading to his penthouse. This is where the next book is located at to unlock the next secret Earth landmark. So yeah, just head inside his place here and you can find the book on his desk in here. It's called The Price of Destiny. So this will unlock the St. Louis landmark on Earth. Let's go ahead and go to activities and set course to that area. Yeah, this looks crazy. And as long as you track the activity, you should know exactly where to get the snow globe here at this landmark. All right, not too many left. All right, so for this next one, as long as you have started the Crimson Fleet quest line, you'll be able to get this one. We're just gonna have to head over to the Crix system and then fast travel to the key. And then just dock and board the key. And then in here, just head to the core. And then from the core, head this way and go left. You wanna head into this elevator over here and go to the operations center. Once at the operations center, just head in here and then go up this flight of stairs. And in this room here, you can find the next book that you're gonna need called the Diary of Kaiusuke Nagata. This will unlock the next secret landmark on Earth. So go ahead and just track the landmark and then set course and go here and pick up the snow globe. So yeah, this is what the landmark will look like and the snow globe will be located over here on this rock. Next one will be located over at the Sol system and we're gonna be heading to Titan, which is located right over here the moon of Saturn. Once over here, just fast travel to New Homestead. So when you arrive here, you just want to head inside this building here. It's not too far from where you land, just like the Hope Tech building one. And we're going to be able to find the next book inside this building. And when inside here, you just want to head down these flight of stairs and then head inside this room. And then when you get in here, you just head down these flight of stairs and the book will be right here on this shelf. It's called Maurice Lyons Journal. This will unlock the next secret Earth location where we can find the next snow globe at as well. So let's go ahead and track it and set course to go there. This is the Hong Kong landmark. All right, so here we are. All right, just two more left now, guys. Okay, so now we wanna head on over to Parima, which is located right here. Once over at this system, just fast travel to Parima 2 orbit. And here you will locate an unidentified ship Go ahead and board this. All right, so once on the ship, just take the route that I take to get to the next book. It's gonna be inside a classroom here. Over here, you'll find a classroom and you'll find a book over here behind the teacher that you can pick up. So yeah, go ahead and pick this one up and this will unlock the Shanghai landmark on Earth. So you know the drill, once you pick it up, just track it in your activities and set course to head there. All right, so now we just have one more to discover, and that one's going to be located over at the lodge at New Atlantis. Okay, so once at the lodge, you just want to head upstairs, and we're going to be going into this bedroom here. On the desk in here, you can find Sir Livingstone's second journal. Go ahead and pick this up. This will be the last landmark that we need to go to to get the last snow globe. We're going to be heading to the Apollo landing on the moon. All right, so yeah, this is how you get all of the snow globes that you need to unlock the old Earth spacesuit. Hopefully this helps you out on getting this armor. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.